Hi, good morning everyone. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we'll talk about a couple of points in related to the confidence from this book, Light from Many Lamps, which we discussed in the past. Success depends on a plus condition of mind and body. The clear-cut example of why you need to take care of your health. Now, what I'm is sure you will figure it out how healthy you are and fortunately unfortunately we haven't been if you have been to the sick or for whatever the reasons let's say cold flu whatever and then what uncomfortable things it does to our feelings our moods our emotions if you are not feeling healthy or fit or you know sometimes when we fall sick for whatever the reasons what it does to our emotions body something if you really reconnect and then there are things that which we can always work towards obviously we cannot control everything about what happens within our body but most importantly you need to pay attention to your movement like how much you are moving during the day uh, you know there is a saying that you know sitting is a new smoking you know uh, and i was doing some yoga sessions i'm just saying that the the, uh, the instructor always says that sitting is a new smoking and then no wonder you know uh, if you're into admin works uh, we into the offices you know we tend to focus a lot on our computers you know where we sit uh, well we need to find a way to take a little bit breaks so or walk a little bit and also how much movement you have during your day uh, which is an accumulated effect of for a month a couple of months and years and then down the line so make sure during your day you will have a good moment take an afresh take your uh, you know a good sunshine breathe and whatever may it may means to you but make your body moving then it automatically affects so it clearly says the success depends on a plus condition of mind and body self reliance has been a dominating influence in the lives of countless successful men and women if you want more roses you have to plant more said george eliot no man is born into the world whose work is not born with him the man who is born with a talent which he is meant to use find his greatest happiness by using it it is only well with me when i have a chisel in my hand said michael angelo if you can't work with love but only with this days it is better that you should leave your work and sit at the gate of the temple and take arms of those who work with a joy said khalil kibra there's a lot of inspiring leaders and you know motivational speakers and those who achieve great things in their personal are those who achieve great things in their own professional areas always said the same thing love what you find love what you do now it may be challenging for us to understand the uh, till it is to a certain point of time but i'm certain that if you ask yourself if you've been working for a while where do you spend your most of your time if you're making a salary let's say working for someone most of the time you spend at work now second most important place we spend at home so work life balance may or may mean may or may not mean anything to many of us but the top the top of the list comes the work where you spend so that's why when a lot of people say that if you if you don't love what you do you will live entire your work life miserable and not happy and you may may or may not progress if you're not happy with what you do so at some point of time we need to figure it out maybe initially those days you need to give a try here and there to explore but eventually you need to come into the terms you really you know those who is working for salaries can say you know like what they work because you know it's not giving promotions whatsoever personal work let's say some craft you are doing let's say for example of michael angelo maybe he was not making his living by making those sculptures we don't know but he created some masterpieces with love of his work so work does not necessarily mean that you're working for someone yeah i mean 80 plus percent of people are in that direction may you know they you know we may or we may not love what we do but you know 
in the name of money, in the name of the necessities, in the name of the commitments, we probably sell our soul uh, to the workplace, maybe you, even if you don't want to work. And there are a lot of people who want to work because they really need to have money, uh, so on and so forth. But work not only necessarily means that you're working for someone to make money. For example, a lot of artists, those initial struggling hours, you know, they put on their craft because that's what they love doing. So that's pretty much some uh, misconceptions people do have that, you know, work, love what you work, or do what you love. You know, if you ask out of 80% who is working, 75% to 80% of employees are not happy with where they work because every year they need a promotion, every six months they need a rise, and they need to reach the top of the position, let's say starting from the first year to less than three years. So everything in a past space works with the shorts and reels which is happening. So the, probably the life and your profession may, may not work in that direction. But yeah, coming time, coming in terms of loving what you do, you know, doing what you do, your own crafts, probably want to be a writer, or director, or whatever the person, you know, the talent you're born with, which slowly you will come to know if you really pay attention too close listen to yourself and then while working for living also work on yourself that's what it means and then I hope you will have a little bit of a clarity on that when many people say love what you do you know, uh, go with your passion no you still need to uh, work and support yourself and your family initial stages if you're not born with a silver spoon unless until you have everything taken care and then probably you can pursue your you know, probably you can pursue your passion or whatever it may mean to you. At the same time, you need to understand working what you, you know, love, what you do means not only necessarily means working for someone. At the same time, working on yourself, something you're really, truly passionate about, like music. You know, I like to read a lot of books to educate myself. I like to, you know, photography is something anytime I'm 100% enjoy doing and then immerse myself. myself knowing to go on outdoors and then spending some time you know, looking at the nature and then finding a ways to capture a nice moment. You see, something that uh, that probably not give me any money, but then that's what I enjoy, you know. So, or, or else, you know, you may be a writer or you may be a scriptwriter or director or many fields of your personal development. Uh, personally, that's something you're inclined to do. Is something that you always should focus because let's say you work for 20 25 years eventually you're not going to work anymore and then what would you do afterwards if you don't you know time to time revisit and see what your heart is desiring and what is really uh, you think that you can leave your mark as long as you're here and then once you're gone thanks for watching and don't get confused with uh, you gotta go and you know you have to have a passion you know you love what you do well you know not 70 percent of the people who is working genuinely wanted to uh, put that day in and day out started from the morning 801 to 601 they're working and putting efforts yes they're you know committing their responsibilities or you know they're committed to their responsibilities at work and, and you know, i'm sure people are giving the results that's why they get paid and then companies does give exactly what your you know uh, worth let's say in that let's say in the direction so thanks for watching once again and don't get confused with the, these two terms something is definitely building yourself on your own looking at what uh, your heart is sticking to the other one is okay working for someone till you stand on your own feet with, with all your commitments and i hope that really helps and then have a great day ahead and talk to you soon